Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today, as promised, I am installing a Renogy 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter so that I can run the plugs off that baby in there. That's a, uh, a Voltium uh, 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. So step one uh, is to remove the white box that baby right there because it's in the way and because I am using a lithium battery I do not need to worry about the venting I hope uh, I read it I read it online take it with a grain of salt but mine's not gonna be vented uh, somebody uh, speak up in the comments if I'm incorrect so I need to secure the battery from bouncing around so I'm going to use some of this web strapping and I'm gonna use the existing screw system down here. So back there, I took a screw off and I am going to triple it up, fold it, uh, fold it again so that there's some strength in this connection. And I'm gonna strap it across and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so as you can see, I've put a strap sort of diagonally across and use the existing uh, screw holes. You'll note that I put a washer there so that it does not pull out. Over here I didn't use a washer, I, uh, I tripled up the, uh, the webbing. So step one for me was to secure my battery. Alrighty, step two was the removal of this um, lead acid battery vent hose that I will never use again. Um, if I need it again, my bad, I'll have to reroute another one, which will be a kind of a, uh, a son of a gun to do, but that's that. So I cut it off, push it through the hole. You can see what's in there now. So the next little bit of this is placement. Um, I'm really limited. I have a 2021 Luna Rover and some people can fit them back there. This thing is massive. So there's one spot I can put it. And I decided, this is where I usually have my waste basket. I wanna put it here. Now, because this was designed to have the cables come straight out, um, there are some plastic brackets. The cable's supposed to go there. I shaved the sides off with a, uh, a hacksaw so that they'll still be semi-protected, but they'll be coming out the side there. So I decided I am going to place this thing right like that. So I have access to all of the plugs and I'm gonna move it over this way a little bit. And I am gonna drill a hole right there. That's gonna end up right there. And then I can then I can put the terminals on the battery that's now exposed and tied down. So the hole required to go from there to there is the width of two of these included cables, which I used a 7 8 inch bit and drill the hole and they both fit. So I am going to screw the uh, inverter in place, get everything set up, and then I'm going to attach it to the battery and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I wanted to show you how the wiring is going to come out the sides. You can see the wiring is intended to come out the front here, there and there, but I cut slots in the side there, there, and there. So I am going to screw that in place in the cabinet and route it through the holes that I drilled. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm super glad I stuck my GoPro back there. Right back there. Before I started driving screws because I drove a screw there and I saw the little dimple. Right down through here is your propane gas line and it's touching this board. 
So you do not want to have any screws. You don't want any screws to permeate that or to, to go through that piece of wood. Because if they go into the gas line, yeah, it's party over. So I am going to be using multiple three quarter inch screws. Stay tuned. So I am looking at where I could route a cable through to the cabin. And I think it's going to be through this. So I'm just taking a picture of how the AV wires are hooked in. Just for reference. All right, folks, we're in luck. As luck would have it, if you look down through there, you're going to see a gap of light. You're also, if you look real hard, like that gap of light is the battery compartment. Um, you can also see the hole where the lead acid battery vent was. So I am going to route the cable up over from the inverter through the hole that the battery vent was up through directly to here up through directly to here and then we're going to have a plug right here it's going to be a dangly plug but you know it is what it is for a guy that does not know how to do electricity it's um just going to be a plug i may route this out a little bit right here so a slot so that the plug can be right there so wish me luck here we go okay so this is the little control panel the on off switch and i think there's some alert lights there uh, for the renegy thousand watt inverter this cable somehow needs to get from here i'm going to double side mount double side tape mount the uh the the switch right there it needs to get from here down through the hole through the hole in the battery compartment up through into the compartment underneath the stove where the inverter is i am going to use the handyman's secret weapon a coat hanger and duct tape watch this so i have straightened the coat hanger and i have taken the looks like network cable but it's some other kind of cable um i've taken it and i've taped it to the end here i am going to take it and fish it down through until it pokes out the white the bright light spot um and then i'm going to pull it through from the other side so stay tuned by the way i do have the power off on my trailer when i'm messing with this the power switch is off i'm going to put a big disclaimer at the front of the video uh yeah unplug the power as you can see here's our cable so i'm going to pull that coat hanger down through and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to route it through that hole where the battery vent was over top here and i'm going to show you what it looks like when i'm done okay the next step is i have dremeled out i gotta clean it up a little bit uh a slot where there's nothing nothing behind it I'm going to route the uh, the extension bar cable, um, the power bar cable that I'm going to power bar that I'm going to be mounting up here. Uh, going to route it through there, and I'm going to route the uh, this thing here, this uh, Renogy uh, switch. I'm going to run that through there too. Bought some double sided tape. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it somewhere where the, the light's not going to bother me. So the next step is, this is the power bar I'm going to be using. And this is the cable that I have tied onto or duct taped onto my uh, coat hanger for fishing. So I'm going to fish this through and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So you can see right there, uh, the extension cord cable and the, uh, the controller cable um, that I've routed. <laughs> over top there 
So all I need to do is plug in the remote cable, click, clicks in just like an ethernet cable, and plug this in here. And I'm gonna give that some slack and I'm gonna tie it down there because I don't want it real close to the, uh, to the burner. I may put a piece of metal metal flashing above this just as a heat shield, but that'll be at a later time. I'm just getting this going now. So for mounting the uh, extension cord there, I'm using this Gorilla Tape. Uh, not a channel sponsor. I just look for something strong looking. Holds up to 38 pounds, one pound per four inch. Uh, and what I, why I got this is that it's weatherproof so that uh, uh, condensation doesn't make this fall off and if it falls off it falls off I'll find another another solution I'm just I was thinking screws but this is only real thin masonite here and screwing into masonite it's yeah it's 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 not something that, that would last okay as you can see I have gorilla taped this to the back wall behind the TV uh, the TV can can go back in um, without having any problems with the plugs. Now I'm gonna work on the uh, Renogy controller. Here is the finished product from inside. Uh, the Renogy controller, you can see it's wired through that little slot and the uh, AC extension cord coming from the uh, inverter is, is neatly wired there and is nice and out of the way. Can't see it. When the TV's back in, when the TV's back in place, uh, it's invisible so yeah let's go around and hook this thing up okay folks everything is now wired up um, positive to positive negative to negative along with all the other positives and negatives um, I left I, I wired this tucked in the wires so that the fuses are readily available um, I'm still gonna zip tie this out of the way uh, so let's see what happens. I'm going to flick this on. It beeped and there are no error lights. I got the remote control. And let's see if we can turn this bad boy on. I don't know if the remote has batteries or not. There we go. Boom. TV running off of battery mission accomplished so again i say this with every video i do don't pay somebody to do this do it yourself if i can do it you can do it save yourself some cash thanks for watching um i had a good time doing this one uh i hope you had a good time watching it uh the like share subscribe there's lots more to come at brute force explorer youtube channel thank you